we now have more information about the type of skin cancer that killed Jimmy Buffett. Now, while the initial report had said lymphoma, the writer made a mistake because it was actually a Merkel cell carcinoma, and then that likely spread to his lymph nodes, giving the writer the confusion for the diagnosis. According to Jimmy Buffett's own website, he has been fighting Merkel cell carcinoma for over four years, so let me explain what that is. Merkel cell carcinoma is also called neuroendocrine carcinoma of the skin. It usually appears as a pink bump and it may bleed easily. It might look like a cyst, but you have it in sun exposed areas. That's usually where it causes. It usually is related to sun exposure. Merkel cells are little sensory cells that are around our free nerve endings in the skin and they can become malignant through chronic UV exposure. And at least 50% of people who are diagnosed with Merkel cell carcinoma will have seroprevalence or positive antibodies for a virus called Merkel cell polyomavirus, which does play a role in the development of at least some of these types of cancers. This is an example of a Merkel cell from my own clinic, and this is another example. Merkel cell carcinoma has a really high fatality rate, even higher than that of melanoma. So about 60% are alive at five years, so that means at least 40% will pass away and succumb to the disease. Thankfully, we have more information now, so rest in peace, Jimmy Buffett.